Welcome to the Tarrant County College Northwest Campus Fitness Trail Guide. As you arrive at the Northwest Campus to participate in your fitness trail activity, you're going to want to head for the Northwest Campus Gymnasium located here in white from the bird's eye view. Once you go inside the gymnasium, you're going to need to check out a heart rate monitor, um, possibly change. We have locker rooms in there. And then exit through the main doors, which are pictured here. These doors will take you out to the main PE parking lot. And you'll look over to your left, and off in the distance, you'll see Marine Creek Lake. Our fitness trail will start and stop right down there at the beginning of Marine Creek Lake. A few rules and safety considerations. This trail is unsupervised, so you're really on your own. If you decide to come on your own, there are no pets allowed. And of course, this is Texas, so please be aware of all animals, snakes, or anything that you see uh, out on this trail, as it is out in the wild. Our trail is really a figure eight. There is a lake loop and then an upper loop, uh, and they combine um, and connect in the middle to form about a one-mile trail. There are some detours, which I'll show you in the minute, as the overflow parking is kind of cut off about a quarter mile of our trail. But our trails, the, the lake loop is about 0.5 of a mile, and the upper loop is about 0.5 of a mile. One's a little less, one's a little more. If you take the detour, I think the upper loop um, is a little less than half of a mile. So altogether, you're looking at about 0.8, maybe 0.75 of a mile for this fitness trail. Um, connected in the middle as really as your halfway point. When you start off on our fitness trail you can either choose to go left or right, it really doesn't matter. If you head right you'll be heading north towards the new Eagle Mountain Saginaw High School. Um, if you choose to head south or head left um, you'll notice our boathouse and our sailboat masts off in the distance you'll be heading down towards the lake but again it's a loop so either way you'll end up at the cross point of our figure eight once you get to that cross of the figure eight you'll again have a decision to make you can either head to the right which is up by the police barracks or you can head down towards the left um, which is the Eagle Mountain Saginaw Again, it's up to you. Um, if there are other people using the trail, just remember trail etiquette and pass on the right. Um, notify somebody if you're coming up behind them, but, but you get to choose. It is a loop, so either way, you'll come back to the same position that you started on. Some are a little more downhill on the way down, some are uphill on the way back. Um, after a couple laps, you'll probably figure out which way you like better. You'll notice here on the map the overflow parking that's just highlighted by the green X has cut off about 0.5 of our loop but the maintenance department at TCC was really nice as you see pictured here they went in and poured um, a blacktop detour um, you want to avoid the trail to the right which leads you to the parking lot and you want to follow the track closed use detour signs which direct you off to the left again it's a nice uh, well manicured blacktop trail which will connect you to the original trail and then bring you back around to the beginning <coughs> This detour is recommended, but it's not required, as the original trail is still in existence, which loops around uh, the overflow parking. Our fitness trail is called a fitness trail rather than a jogging trail because there are six, at this time six, we, we hope to add more, but there are six elements of fitness where you can stop and actually use a piece of equipment. The first one is our push-up bar. You can turn around backwards and use it for dips, or you can do push-ups. The second element on our trail um, is an inclined sit-up or inclined crunch piece of equipment. And it's a little uncomfortable on the tailbone, but after you wrap your legs over and under, you'll be able to do, you'll be able to stop and do some inclined crunches, a, a great abdominal workout. You must stay on the lake loop. Notice how my numbering here, which is inaccurate, I'll correct it in a minute, but the numbers stay on the lake loop. We have no elements up on the upper loop. Okay. Our third element of the fitness trail, again on the lake loop, is our pull-up or chin-up bars. You can be creative and also do a, a flex tang or some knee raises to work the abdominals, but it's designed for chin-ups and pull-ups. Our fourth element along the trail is called a Z-bar jump, and you're really going to jump either one foot to one foot or two foot to two foot, either a hop or a jump over the bar. 
Our fifth element is a little confusing. Um, it's really designed to lie down and do more abdominal crunches, but I tend to use it more for push-ups or I turn around backwards and use it for dips. Um, it has a, some purposes listed on the side uh, in a small diagram you see there in white, which will give you some more ideas. Our sixth and last element are the par is a, a balance beam. I was going to say parallel bars, but it's our balance beam. I use this as a step up box. So I'll step up with my right, step down with my left, step up with my left, step down with my right. But you can use it however you wish. These are the six elements that comprise the bulk um, of our fitness trail. You can choose to stay on the lower loop or the lake loop, or you can go back and forth from the upper to the lower. You'll see here in red. Um, TCC, or not TCC, but Fort Worth is actually creating a loop all the way around Marine Creek Lake. And um, in the future, we hope to make this a much larger trail than it is now. But for the time being, this is what we have. It's about one mile, and feel free to use the equipment along the way. I hope the heart rate monitor helps you as well. Thank you.